Hey cuties, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing so well. So I picked up this $8 poly gel kit from Timu because I just felt like doing some poly gel and testing out an affordable kit for you guys. So here it is. Let's get into it. Let's do some nails. I put on my glasses because it makes me feel cozier. It's raining outside. It's a good day. Glasses. That doesn't make any sense. All right, here is the box. Let's open it. I guess this is the brand name. Well, Fox, kind of cute, whatever. So we've got a little flash curing lamp and it says that it only goes up to a max of 16 watts. So definitely not gonna be able to fully cure any gel nails on with this, but flash cure is fine. Definitely wanna get one that goes up to like at least 36, I think. I'm pretty sure mine goes to 48 to fully cure those gel nails on there. But we've got the actual poly gel itself, which is a 30 milliliter tube which is pretty nice. Usually it's like 15 milliliters. So we've got the slip solution, the dual forms, which are not organized by size or anything like that. So it's gonna be fun to find my sizes in there and size those out. Just a little round brush and a file, which this one actually seems like a pretty good quality file. And I'm pretty sure this is a 120 by 100 file although it doesn't say. So that's everything that comes in this little $8 kit. I already took my last set off. So let's just start making some nails. Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you. I actually already tried to use the dual forms from this kit because I figured I'd use the dual forms even though they didn't fit. I'd use them for the sake of using everything in the kit. You know what I'm saying? So I used them and it went really badly. Uh, like the stickiness from the poly gel was really getting to me. Just not in the mood today to be dealing with sticky stuff. Just like really frustrates me. And it was just not going well. I was not enjoying it at all. So I decided to scrap that and I want to do some nails today that I'm actually going to enjoy doing. I want to actually have a good experience doing my nails today because the last few times were a little frustrating. So, so I'm restarting and instead of the dual forms, I'm going to be using these extra long tips from AliExpress. They are extra long coffin tips. So I've got them all sized out now. So I'm just going to do a little bit of prep on my nails so that we can put these on. So like I said before, I have, I have some of that my brain and words are just like not functioning today i am so sorry i do not know what is happening i have a base coat on here rubber base coat that's what it's called i have this rubber base coat on here just like protect my nails from all the filing because i change my set so often and i like that it's white because when i'm filing off my set since i'm taking a break from my peel off base coats i can see when i'm getting to this base coat and i can stop filing and switch to soaking off with acetone also, all of that white is from alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. Don't mind that. So I did already rough them up when I first tried to use the dual forms, but I'm gonna rough them up a little bit more, I guess, just to make sure they're really nicely roughed up so that everything sticks on well. And I'm just going to wipe the dust off with some isopropyl alcohol and then go in with my dehydrator and also my primer and I'm definitely going to be more careful with the primer than I was with the dehydrator uh, if you couldn't tell I was just kind of slapping the dehydrator on it's mostly just like isopropyl alcohol so it's fine but the primer you know, I'll be a little bit more careful don't don't get this stuff on your skin And something that I noticed is that this kit that I got actually doesn't come with a base coat and a top coat, which is weird considering that the instructions specifically say to apply a base coat and then to apply a top coat. So wouldn't recommend it for that reason. I mean, I'd recommend it if really you're just looking for a poly gel, a flash curing lamp in dual forms, but make sure to get a base coat and a top coat. So I'm just gonna use this base coat that I already have. I always like using my Beatles ones and I'm just going to put a quick base coat on all of these. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that base coat is all cured now and I'm going to start putting these tips on using my nail glue gel. And let's actually go ahead and open this little lamp. I kind of doubt that I'm going to use it to put the tips on because I really don't like lamps where you have to stick your finger in the hole. Also, this lamp is supposed to be a rose, but it, it's low-key sus. Just don't look at that. Okay, yeah, I think that that is not gonna work for putting tips on. Like that is gonna be really hard to do. So I'm probably just gonna use this more when I'm doing the poly gel and stuff. And I'm going to use my gooseneck lamp like I always do. So I'm just gonna pop all of these on real quick. Nothing too special. All right, so there is all the tips on. These are super long, way longer than what I have on my other hand. And I'm low-key debating whether or not I should cut them down, but I think we'll keep them today. I think we'll have some fun with some extra, extra long nails. So I should probably actually show you what the color of this poly gel is. That would probably be good. So this poly gel is just like a dusty nude color. I'll call it like a dusty rose. I think that's kind of like the dusty rose color. And what I've really been wanting to do is an ombre, like a glitter ombre. I feel like I haven't done a glitter ombre in a minute and I love glitter ombres. And I found this amazing like Valentine's Day glitter at Michael's yesterday when I was with my mom. I just like happened upon it. And I was like, this is perfect. I am gonna use this with this poly gel kit. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're like little transparent hearts and hexagons and circles and they're all hollow and they're just so cute and they make me so happy and I love looking at them. We are going to use them. We're gonna do it. So I'm not gonna like file this or anything because there's base coat on here that I need to use with the poly gel and I don't wanna reapply that base coat. So to prep my tip, I'm just going to take my primer and I'm gonna put that on the whole tip. And that should be good now. I'm just gonna do it like one nail at a time because for some reason I seem to have gotten like lint everywhere. Like, like, I don't know where this black lint came from. I'm not even wearing black right now. I mean, I was earlier, but now I'm not. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this ombre is I think I'm going to take the same nail glue gel that I used to put the tips on, and I'm gonna put like a generous amount of it on the top of this tip, because I want the glitter to be like on the whole top part. Like I want these to be very glittery. And then I'm actually just going to pour some of this glitter in here so it's easier for me to get on my brush. And I just dipped this little flat square brush in some of that gel and I'm just gonna dip it in the glitter and put it on my nail. I know that like the only thing that I'm ending up actually using from this kit for these nails is like the poly gel itself and the slip solution, but you know what? I am just a girl trying to do her nails, trying to have a good day, trying not to cry. So you know what? We're just going with it. We're just going with it. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. And I know I said I was gonna use this little flash curing light. And this is the point where I would use it to flash cure this, but honestly, you need to plug it in and I don't have an available outlet right now. And I'm like really way too lazy to find one just to use this when I have this little flash curing lamp on my desk already. So I'm not gonna use this. And I'm just gonna flash cure that for like 15 seconds just so that it's stuck. Cool. Since it's like transparent, the hearts low key kind of get like lost, but I still think it's really pretty. So I'm just going to put the same glitter on all of them now. I don't know why I'm having like such a weird day today. It's not even like necessarily a bad day. I just feel so frazzled today. And I really just think that like it's my brain chemicals are just a little off today, but that's okay. We're pushing through it. We're pushing through it. And you know, I'm just gonna 
try to work with my brain, not against it, not force myself to do things. And that's why I decided to do this and not force myself to use the dual forms and everything else that came in the kit. Although I know it might be disappointing because it's like supposed to be a video testing a kit and then like I'm not really using the kit, so I'm sorry. But yeah, hopefully you understand. I know everyone has those days So there is all of the glitter on. Um, did I go over with the glitter? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think you can ever go overboard with the glitter. I think it looks pretty cute. I really, really love the color and like the rainbow hollow reflection. I love it so much. It's just, it's just so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. So I already poured some slip solution in this crusty dish before. Uh, you can see a little floaty heart in there. Love how hard it is to squish poly gel out on a cold day. Alrighty, let's start with the poly gel. So I am just going to put a nice glob down here. I think that should be good for now. And I got some slip solution on my brush and now I'm just going to start patting it down and shaping it out. And I, I usually never use like slip solution. I always use like 91% rubbing alcohol as my slip solution, but I'm using the slip solution and I'm actually having a really easy time with it, which is really nice. I might use the slip solutions more often. And this poly gel, like just on the brush is not too sticky. Like it's not hard to work with because of the stickiness unless you're like holding it in your hand like I was uh, at the beginning. I'm just gonna like try to ombre it up. I feel like I should have went over the glitter again with the gel, like the glue gel, so that the glitter wasn't popping up <laughs> right now because the glitter is kind of like popping up in some places where I put too much glitter but no biggie no biggie for poly gel i definitely prefer oh no 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 i was clumsy anyway as i was saying i much prefer doing poly gel with half tips than using dual forms because dual forms i just i just cannot handle the stickiness i can't do it it's like so annoying and I just feel like it squeezes out everywhere and it's just like really not a good time for me. I really do not enjoy using dual forms. I almost even prefer using the half tips than doing the lazy girl method. Although the lazy girl method is pretty quick. That's the reason I use it most times. Okay, so there's that first ombre. <laughs> Honestly, not the best ombre I've ever done. I definitely think I brought the pink up a little too far maybe, but what can you do? Not much because poly gel, like once it's on, it's like super sticky and it's not coming off. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for like 15 seconds and then just continue doing the same thing for all of them. Y'all might think I am crazy for saying this, but I honestly right now prefer acrylic over poly gel. Even with the smell of the monomer and everything, I prefer acrylic. Maybe I just don't know how to do poly gel properly, but poly gel is just, it's just like so sticky. It takes so long to smooth out. I feel like acrylic is so easy to smooth out because it's like setting as you're smoothing it. I just like have such an easier time with acrylic. That's just how I'm feeling at the moment. Okay, I was trying to squeeze this tube because the poly gel was not coming out and I decided to squeeze it with my right hand even though I only had flash cured this one and I put a big dent in it. So now I gotta go back in and fix that. I swear you guys, I am having a day. I'm having a day. It's definitely a day. Deep breaths. Deep, deep, deep breaths. 
Okay, so there is all the pink ombre. Honestly, not too bad besides the fact that it looks extremely bumpy, lump lumpy and a little dusty and crusty and there's lint everywhere because I fully cured them and wiped off the sticky layer and the glitter got all the linty stuff and it's just, it's just a thing, okay? It's a thing, but we have them. And now I'm taking out some clear poly gel that I have from Rosalind because yes, this is just, this has become a video of just doing my nails with poly gel and glitter, okay? I'm gonna use this clear poly gel and I'm going to encapsulate these glitters at the end. I did actually also go over all the glitters with more of that nail glue gel because it was really annoying how they kept coming up while I was trying to do the pink and then they would like get in the pink poly gel and I didn't want them in the pink poly gel. So I just went over them with some more gel and now they should all be pretty secured so that they're not moving around when I'm trying to encapsulate them. I love how the glitter looks underneath the clear poly gel looks so pretty. I'm pretty sure you guys have told me that before, but yeah, just trying it now. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm finally done with all of the poly gel application and they're looking extremely thick. They low-key like lost the coffin shape and kind of just look like a little bit of a tapered square now because they are so thick but i need to wipe these off with alcohol because they are so insanely sticky and y'all already know that i cannot deal with that stickiness also you should just always wipe the sticky layer off before you do any filing because the sticky layer that like residue of uncured gel can ruin your files and if you want your files to last longer then you should definitely wipe off your sticky layer Layers. All right, so these are going to require quite a bit of filing. So let's just file these up. I'm not even gonna say real quick because I know it's gonna take a minute. It'll be like one minute for you, but it'll probably be like 45 minutes for me. Not even gonna lie. Yep, that filing took literally half an hour, but I think it's totally worth it because they look so much better now. So satisfying when you like file it and they look all crisp. Part of me is like super tired and I feel like I don't have more to give to these nails at the moment, but I haven't made up my mind yet. I feel like I can't just leave them like this. I think that just some rhinestone designs would be really pretty on these actually. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you know that design where you have a heart when you put your hands like this with rhinestones and it like connects on each side? I've never done that before and I think I wanna do it. I've been seeing it on Pinterest a lot, so let's do it. So I'm I'm gonna use my McCart rhinestone glue like usual. And I think I'm gonna do it, yeah, on these two right here, my middle finger and my ring finger. And I'm just gonna like kinda gonna outline the heart as best as I can with the rhinestone glue. It doesn't have to be perfect though because I can always move around the rhinestones wherever I need them to be. That obviously doesn't look like a great heart, but you, it's gonna come together. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay, I think I'm gonna use, ooh, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough of any one of these. So I think I'm actually going to use like, oh, you 
can't even see them, but they look really pretty just like that. Um, I think I'm going to use like a mixture of these three sizes because I don't think I have enough of any one of these. Really need to get more. And I'm just going to start blinging this up. I think it'll actually look really cute with the different sizes of rhinestones, hopefully at least. I bought one of those trays with like the lines in it that people who do diamond painting use to help them flip all of their rhinestones in the right direction. And it's not, it didn't get here yet. I got it from, I think I got it from Timu or AliExpress, but, but I cannot wait for it to get here because putting rhinestones on is super frustrating when you can't get them to fall straight up and then you end up putting them on upside down. Okay, so I think that's actually good or at least as good as I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna give that a full cure. Actually not a full cure, just like a 30 second cure. Cute! And actually that's like really cute just like that. I don't know if I wanna do anything crazy on my other hands. I've seen a lot of people just put like one singular rhinestone on the bottom down here. Let me see what that looks like. So it would be just like that. I think that's actually cute. I'm gonna do that for all of them. Except I'm not gonna do it for the heart ones because I think that would be like a little too much. I don't know. I feel like the heart ones should just be left alone like that so that they can just stand out on their own. Cute. I'm gonna give that like just a 15 second cure just so that when I put the top coat on, they're not sliding around. And now I'm gonna go in with my top coat finally. I'm gonna use the Beatles one because I like the Beatles one when I want more of like a thick top coat. And since I did a lot of filing on these, I think I'm gonna go with this thicker Beatles top coat. Let's see, let's see if the glitter looks good. You know, it's not fantastic, honestly not as great as I was hoping, but it's cute. It's there, it's cute, it's glitter. I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go around the rhinestones, at least to the best of my ability. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm sorry if I like seemed not myself in this video. I don't know. Sometimes in my head, I feel like I filmed a video that's not that great, but then I end up editing it and it doesn't seem all that bad. But in my head, I feel like this one was not my best work. I don't know. I was kind of all over the place. So I'm sorry about that if you noticed that. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of your amazingly sweet comments that you leave. They honestly really do mean the world to me and they always make me smile. And your comments, they're, they're so important to me. They, they really motivate me to keep filming videos. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking my videos. You guys all mean the world to me. I hope that you are having the most beautiful, amazing day, amazing week, amazing life. Sleep well if you're going to sleep. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye, cutie. Mwah.